A very good morning to all my dear ones. Today we are going to start with science. This is your science textbook. So in this unit you will be starting with living things and non-living things. We live in a very beautiful world, right? We can see many things which is around us. There are some things which are living and there are some things which are non-living. So first of all, what is a living thing and what is a non-living thing? So living thing is a thing which has life. Then we call it as living thing. Then what is a non-living thing? Things which has no life, we call them as non-living things. So when we look around, we can see many things which has life and which has no life. That is, which is living and which is non-living. So let me ask you, what all things do we need to survive? Or what all things do we need to live? Do we need air? Yes, we all breathe. So we need air. Do we need water? Yes. Do we need food? Yes, because we can't live without food and water. We need food, water and air to live. So what are living things? Living things need air, water and food to live. So they are called living things. So we need food, water and air to live. So we are living things. Then all living things grow. Do we grow? Yes. You all were born as little babies. Now you all are grown up. So we all grow. So all human beings grow. Then living things move. Do we move? Yes, we all move from one place to another. We can jump, we can walk, we can run. So we move. So we are living things. Then all living things produce young ones. Even human beings produce young ones. So what are living things? Living things are things which need air, water and food to live. So we human beings are living things. So you understood what, what are called living things. Then let's see one more example. Let's take plants. You can see many plants which are around us, right? So plants, are they living things? Yes, they are also living things. They also need air, water and food to live. If you keep a plant in a dark room, or if you grow a plant in a dark room, do you think will it grow? No, it won't grow. Why? Because it needs proper air, it needs proper water and it needs proper sunlight to grow. So it won't grow. So you have to grow a plant where they get proper air, proper water and proper sunlight. So plants also, plant is also a living thing. Then do plants grow? Yes. When we grow a seed, first it emerges as a small plant, then it will grow as a large plant. So plant also grows. Then do plants move? We told all living things move. Do plants move? Yes. Even the part of the plant move towards sunlight for growing. So even the part of the plant move towards sunlight. So even plants move. Then all plants reproduce. So we told all living things produce young ones. Even plants produce from its seeds. From its seeds again it grows into a plant. So plants also produce from its seeds. So plant is also a living thing. And shall we take one more example to make it clear what are living things. Let's look an example at animals. You can see many animals around you. Cow, cat, tiger, all these are animals. Now, these animals are also living things. When animals need air to breathe, water, food, they also need food. They also depend on plants for their food. So these animals also need food. They also need water and they also breathe. And even animals grow. Then 
all living things move animals also move do you all know about cheetah cheetah is the fastest animal so all animals can move from one place to another so animals can also move so all what are living things living things are things which need air water and food to live plants animals human beings etc are living things so i hope you understood what are living things now we'll moving on to the next one now we'll do a small activity so you have your book you have your notebook and your pencil right so you can take it on the first page you can write the date then you can write living things and non living things so what you are going to do now is there will be some pictures here with their names so what you have to do is you have to identify which are living things okay some pictures will be there with its name and you have to identify which are living things so for example if i am giving the picture of a dog you can write dog is dog a living thing or a non living thing you have to think all living things need air water and food to live so you have to think do they move do they grow then you have to write is whether they are living so if it is for example one example i give you if it is the picture is dog it is a living thing okay then write dog then put a space and you write living in the same way you can write the rest of the answers so you can see the picture of a dog here then next you can see the picture of a pen then you can see the picture of a duck now we can see the picture of a table and there is a picture of a pencil and now there is a picture of a cat so what you have to do is write which all are living things so you can pause the video write which are living things then play the play the video we'll discuss the answer and then we'll continue with our topic okay are you ready with the answers so the first picture was the picture of a dog so that i already told you it is a living thing then what was the next picture it's a picture of a pen so is pen a living thing is it needs air water or food to live no so it is not a living thing and the next one was the picture of a duck do ducks need air water and food yes do they move yes do they have young ones yes he said ducklings for baby ducks we call it as ducklings so duck is a living thing then the next was table so table is it a living thing no does it move no does it need air food or water to live no so it is not a living thing so what is the next picture the next picture was it's a picture of a pencil do pencil need air water or food no does it move on its own no it is not a living thing so next one you can see the picture of a cat do cats need air water and food yes do cats move yes do they have young ones yes we say kitten so cat is a cat is a living thing so you understood what is a living thing then what about the pencil the table and pen is it a living thing no then they are non living things things which do not need air water and food to live are called non living things so things like pen pencil chair table all these are non living things so you can write pen then you can write there non living so they do not need food water or air they do not move they do not have young ones so they are called non living things so what are living things things which need air water and food 
to live are called living things. Then what are non-living things? Things which do not need air, water and food to live are called non-living things. So I hope you understood the difference between living thing and non-living thing. Things which has life we call it as living. Things which has no life we call it as non-living things. So I hope you understood. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Thank you.